This is the Indian seafood recipe that nobody is talking about but everyone should. I'm talking about this delectable crab omelette. It's made by cooking some onions, curry leaves and spices and then adding that to beaten eggs along with fresh crab meat. It's cooked to that crispy brown color that Indians just love their eggs to be and it's a seafood lover's dream. Horns up and welcome to Meet India. My series where I take you on a culinary journey across the many states of India showcasing the best meat and seafood this country has to offer. And today we're still in the state of Tamil Nadu but we're going to the city of Madurai and we're making a dish called Nanda omelette which is a crab omelette dish. Now I found many variations of this recipe online. Some people made it with leftover curry, some people made a whole curry from scratch and some people had a more simplistic version of this dish. So today we're going to make the simple and easy version but it is delicious I can promise you that. Anyway enough jibber jabber let's get cooking. A crab omelette needs crab meat and I'm using this pre-cooked and ready to use crab meat. If you can't buy crab meat like this you can buy a whole crab and just boil it and deshell and remove all the meat for this recipe. I'll also be using these little shallots called sambar onions and if you can't find these where you live a normal shallot or a red onion will do just fine. I get my pan on the stove and heat up some oil. To that I add the sliced shallots, a chopped green chilli, some curry leaves, season with salt and then fry that. Next I add in some turmeric powder and some Kashmiri red chilli powder. And now saute that till the onions have softened and started browning around the edges. And then remove from the pan and set aside to cool. Next I crack two eggs in a bowl. I add a splash of milk for fluffiness, salt, a good amount of black pepper and then I give it all a good whisk. In goes the shallot mixture once it's cooled down and also our crab meat and give it a final good mix. Get the pan back on the heat and add some oil and once it's hot in goes the egg. Spread the egg around as well as the filling so you get a nice even layer and then I use this trick of covering the pan so that the egg steams and the top is cooked so that when you open it up and flip it over there isn't any splatter of eggs. Once it's flipped over give it 15 to 20 seconds and that's it get it off the heat. I serve myself the omelette in a plate, add a bit of crab meat on top for the photos and some coriander for garnish. And our crab omelette from the state of Tamil Nadu is done and ready and it looks fantastic. And us Indians don't mind the omelette being nice and brown in color. Anyway gotta dive right into that omelette and oh yeah. Anyway time for the official taste test. Alright folks it's time to taste the crab omelette and I guess I'm going to be dining alone. So let's just dive right in. Mm. Wow. That is a super flavorful omelette. Obviously you get a lot of that curry patta flavor which is upfront and delicious. And then the crab which is very subtle and meaty. It's a really good dish. I definitely encourage all seafood lovers to try this dish. It's unique. It's very different from your standard omelette. And trust me, it's going to spice up your mornings or afternoons or evenings or nights depending on when you eat it. I don't really have much else to say except that this is... So, obviously you saw that I cooked the omelette to a fairly dark brown. And if you've ever traveled across India, especially on the trains and you stopped, you know, in the morning for an omelette pow, they throw the eggs on like a really hot tawa and it gets really nice and brown and I quite like that maybe it's not for everyone so you can cook the omelette to your liking if you don't enjoy it to be so sort of brown and caramelized you can cook it more like a French omelette with less color on it it's completely up to you but I do hope that you will try making this dish anyway that's been enough jibber jabber from me I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen until then cheers and keep cooking Hey folks, the next state we're going to be hitting up is Andhra Pradesh. And if you know what are the best meat and seafood dishes from that state, please let me know in the comments below. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and on the YouTube channel memberships. You are all awesome. And if you like Headbangers Kitchen and want to support what I do, join the Patreon by clicking the link below this video. Or join the YouTube channel memberships. It's all good.